I've decided to create just one sim who will complete every aspiration, gain almost every trait in the game, master every single skill, graduate with all the university degrees, and also reach the top of every career. Not to mention that they'll be collecting every collection to boot, all with aging on. That's right, I'm taking on the challenge of making a super sim. There's just one big problem. I don't have a sim. And seeing as being a super sim involves gaining almost every trait, I realised that the making of a perfect super sim starts from birth because there are four little known traits that sims can only get by inheriting them through their parents being Sulani Mana, Father Winter's Baby, Ancient Bloodline and Greater Wolf Blood and I needed my one super sim baby to have all of them Now Peter, you ask, what are these traits? Well, Sulani Mana comes from Island Living, and it allows Sims to make their plants better quality and also casually summon volcanic rocks from the sky. So you can see why that's essential. Father Winter's Baby increases the amount of satisfaction points your Sim gains from completing once, the Ancient Bloodline trait lets Spellcaster Sims gain an additional talent point at each rank and additionally they'll gain Spellcaster experience 50% faster and also reduce the chance of overloading by 50% too. And then there is the Greater Wolf Blood trait which allows werewolf sims to gain experience around twice as fast as werewolves without it. As you can imagine, getting all four of these inheritable traits isn't exactly easy, but I had a plan. Firstly, the father has to be Father Winter, because only his children will get the Father Winter's baby trait. Up until this point, Father Winter's main achievements in life included fooling me into thinking that he was an elder when he's actually an adult, as well as sometimes winning a fight when I tried to get my sims to fight him for presents. For some reason fighting him is just so much more satisfying than asking him nicely. But now Father Winter had a real purpose, to be my Super Sims baby daddy and pass on the Father Winter's baby trait. Of course this would mean that the mother would have to do the heavy lifting passing on the Tulani Mana as well as the Ancient Bloodline trait. As for Greater Wolf Blood, well, as you'll see, that trait proved to be very difficult to pass down. In case you were wondering, to get Tulani Mana, you need a Sim who has the Child of the Islands trait, as they'll be able to call forth and summon island elementals, which are like ghost sims. If you befriend these elementals and then have them join your household, then they'll have the Sulani Mana trait and they'll pass it on to any babies that they have. And thankfully I already had a sim with this trait in my save file, being the Queen Nawai. Then for a spellcaster's ancient bloodline trait, I'd need a sim who was a second generation spellcaster and who had at least a strong bloodline, as their baby would be born with the ancient bloodline trait. Once again, thankfully I already had a sim to fill this role, being my my spellcaster Astraeus. And finally, for a chance of getting a baby with the greater wolf blood trait, I simply needed the parents to have werewolf origins. It would be much easier if both parents were werewolves, but I had my fingers crossed that one parent would be enough. Now I was hoping that I could get a sim with these three traits ready to hit up Father Winter in just one generation. I began with Nawai, who sadly I needed to turn into a werewolf. And as someone who's really been getting into the Vampire Diaries lately, I couldn't help but feel it was very Tyler Lockwood. Well, except she's a girl, but still. Anyway, she headed to Moonwood Mill and tracked down Greg, casually checking her phone while she waited for him to be done eating his raw meat before then provoking him. As you'd likely expect, this resulted in an all-out brawl, and sadly Greg is pretty strong. But after being scratched up, Nawai came away with what I was hoping for. Werbies. After a few days of frothing at the mouth, Nawai transformed into a werewolf, and no, her rampage did not make her very popular with her roommate. After it subsided, there was one more thing to do, being to seduce Astraeus. Nawai made her way to Glimmerbrook to visit Astraeus, where she got to know him while being cockblocked by his son who really wouldn't take the hint and leave the room. Astraeus even offered Nawai a massage out of nowhere, which I took as a sign that this was meant to be. Though I did have to go into my spellcaster family and break up their marriage, which I was a tad sad about, but I figured that they could get back together later. 
Anyway, after Nawai and Astraeus connected in more ways than one, a baby was on the way. I needed to make sure that it was a girl, and so I had Nawai eat strawberries throughout her pregnancy. But when it came time to having the baby, I was hitting a bit of a snag. No matter how many times I reset the birth, I wasn't getting the greater wolf blood trait. While the baby could be born as either a spellcaster or a werewolf, they would always have both the Sulani mana and the ancient bloodline traits or even the dormant wolf trait for that matter. I realised that when it came to getting a baby with the greater wolf blood trait, it was just like fetch. It wasn't going to happen. And so I settled on Yolanda, who was a werewolf that was born with a spellcaster's ancient bloodline and the Sulani mana traits. But I also felt that I was going to need an extra generation to ensure that I could get the greater wolf blood trait onto my super sim. In the blink of an eye, Yolanda grew up. And by grew up, I mean I cheated to age her up into an adult. I decided that if I wanted the greater wolf blood trait on Yolanda's baby, I needed to woo the most dangerous werewolf that there is. That's right, it was time to get Gregnant, or Greganonent, or Gregnat. If that reference flew over your head, then pregnant. It's time to get pregnant with Greg. Yolanda moved out of Solani and into Chestnut Ridge. Okay, don't judge me, it was meant to be Moonwood Mill, but the world was full. Here she wasted no time in going to visit Greg to woo him, only to be attacked. Like, seriously Greg, where's your manners? I was like, great, now they hate each other and they even had bad compatibility. But heck, I was gonna make it work between them. I mean, at one stage they fought so hard that my sim literally fell into the ground. But thankfully this didn't stop them from having their first kiss. And it didn't stop Yolanda from getting regnant in a woohoo bush. After eating a lot of strawberries, the babies came a few days later. And after a few resets, I had my baby Penelope, who had greater wolf blood and Tulani mana. However, as none of her parents were spellcasters, the ancient bloodline had downgraded a stage to a strong bloodline, which did complicate things slightly. I was really hoping that my final plan would work in giving me a baby who had all four traits, but a little bit of setup was required. I began by aging Penelope up to an adult, and yes, I did this through cheats. And after moving her mum Yolanda out, there were a few things that needed to be done. The first being to make Penelope strong enough to turn another sim into a werewolf. Once she knew how to give sims the cursed bite, it was then time to revive my favourite self-made holiday, Seduced Father Winter Day. Father Winter really kept me waiting, only rocking up at 10pm, which I'm taking to mean that he had one thing on his mind. After I asked Father Winter for a gift and got a fridge, I then gave Father Winter a gift of my own, being a werewolf bite. I then proceeded to flirt with him profusely because, you know, he is going to be the baby daddy. With Father Winter successfully bitten, I then had some other werewolves in my game make and drop off the werewolf cure for Penelope, who happily chugged it down and transformed back into a regular human sim, all the while keeping the greater wolf blood trait. But Penelope wasn't done with the supernatural just yet she made her way over to the magic realm. Because with her magical bloodline only being strong, she'd need to become a spellcaster to make sure her baby would receive an improved ancient bloodline. I found Sage Chana, who had sadly replaced El Faba. I think El Faba died in my save. Anywho, after giving her a hip bump, I asked her to make me a spellcaster. And because of my strong bloodline, she didn't even make me collect motes first. I know, love that for us. It was then time to return home and invite over the one and only Father Winter, who was now a werewolf. I was hoping that Penelope having the greater wolf blood trait and Father Winter being a werewolf would give me a decent chance of a baby having the greater wolf blood trait while also strengthening the spellcaster bloodline to be ancient. Seducing Father Winter went well, too well even, as he asked to move in and even proposed marriage. Both to which I was like, um, no, I just want your baby. And before long, Penelope was Pregante. I used the on ley line lot trait to get twins and thus have a better chance of getting a baby with greater wolf blood. And also realised that for the first time, I didn't mind if Penelope had a boy or a girl, as this was hopefully the final generation. Well, that's a bit of a lie. It was as Penelope was giving birth in an ugly blue sweater that I was thinking about names. And I wanted to name my super sim after an icon. 
one. I narrowed it down to Tina after Tina Fey or Carly after Carly Rae Jepsen. I couldn't instantly think of a male icon and thus I was hoping for a girl. But before I could get too ahead of myself, I hit a snag. I must have had about 20 babies, resetting after each set of twins. But none of them were getting the greater werewolf blood trait. I thought I might have to settle for three of the four traits, or at least settle on a strong bloodline trait. However, I had one final idea. It was time to go back a generation. That's right, it was time for Yolanda to return home and Penelope to move out. Only for Yolanda to hit up Greg for a wild time in their favourite bush and once again become Pargant. Pregnancy did involve lots of strawberries, and before too long the baby arrived. This time I wasn't looking for a baby with the greater wolf blood trait, but rather the dormant wolf trait. And baby Sally, well, she delivered. Now I hadn't cared for this second inherited werewolf trait earlier because it isn't permanent. It disappears when a sim becomes a werewolf, but I was hoping that maybe having it on a sim could help me pass down the greater wolf blood trait. I really wasn't sure if it would work and I mainly tried out of desperation, but I had my fingers crossed. Sally became the new Penelope. I aged her up to a young adult, made her become a spellcaster, and then had her woo werewolf Father Winter before having a baby with him. And, well, it worked. After a few births, baby Tina was born. And yes, I named all of the babies Tina until I got the chosen Tina with all four traits. Thanks to randomizing her infant trait, she's an intense infant, so that'll be fun. But I'm so happy because she also has all four of the inheritable traits I wanted her to have. Being Father Winter's baby, Ancient Bloodline, Greater Wolf Blood, and Sulani Mana. I also very quickly learned that she's a picky eater as well, so really the fun isn't going to stop. And with that, I now officially have my sim who's ready to become the greatest super sim. But the journey is only just getting started. Stay tuned because Tina's messy infant life will be coming quite soon. And thanks so much for watching and I hope you have an amazing day. See you later.